Imagine taking two objects of the same shape but of different weights and let them fall freely from the same height. Which one do you think will hit the ground first? Well, your first intuition might be that the heavier object will hit the ground first, since it's heavier it will fall faster, right? Well, actually, no. It turns out that both objects will hit the ground at the exact same time. This was proven for the first time by a physicist called Galileo Galilei. And what Galileo did is that he let two spheres fall freely from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And what he found out was that the two spheres touched the ground at the exact same time. But now, the question is, why does this happen? In order to understand this, you first need to understand the relationship between the force applied to an object and how much that object moves or accelerates because of that force. To do this, let's imagine that we constantly push two objects with different masses in the same direction and with the same force. By pushing the two objects, we apply a force onto them, which in turn causes them to accelerate. If the two objects have a different mass, they will accelerate at different rates. So, we can conclude that the relationship between force and acceleration is monitored by the mass of the object. This relationship can be expressed mathematically by Newton's second law, and it states that the force applied to any object equals to its mass multiplied by its acceleration. So by keeping the force constant, a change in mass will generate the exact but inverse change in acceleration. Now, let's move on to understanding the force of gravity. It is said that in the 17th century, a young Isaac Newton was sitting under a tree when he noticed an apple falling from an apple tree. That got him wondering, why does fruit fall directly downwards and not sideways or upwards? What is the force that's causing this motion? This thought marked the beginning of what he later developed to be Newton's theory of gravity. The force of gravity depends on two factors. The first is the mass of the objects involved, and the second is the distance between them. The more massive the two objects are, the greater the force between them. The force also increases by bringing the two objects closer together. So, by changing the mass of a free-falling object, the gravitational force on it also changes by the exact same amount. And according to Newton's law, this leaves the acceleration unchanged. So to summarize, no matter how massive or how small an object is, if you let it fall freely towards the Earth, even though the gravitational force changes, its acceleration will always remain constant. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or any ideas, leave them in the comments section below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.